Oh snap, it's Bill Mettler. Get ready, y'all. At 13, I was the famous leader of the Flying Eagle Patrol and Troop 57. We were the champion fire builders in the whole district. We built the fastest fire in Southeast Virginia. We were hot property. So it was no surprise to me that the scoutmaster practically begged me to give the fire building demonstration at the Camp Ree. I relented after his uh, groveling and uh, I, I said I'd do it. I packed for this green bar camping trip, leader camping trip opened up my pack. I was going to cook shish kebab. So I put the meat and vegetable chunks in aluminum foil. That's the only wrapper we had. And I put, um, wrapped that up, threw it in a pack, and then I wrapped up a whole potato that I was going to throw in the coals later in aluminum foil, and, and I wrapped eight Oreo cookies. My mom wasn't looking, and I took a whole column of cookies and slipped it into the uh, aluminum foil and uh, put that in my pack. And last of all, the finest sleeping bag in the Western Hemisphere. This sleeping bag was coated with that pajama material, you know. People in the know would call it flannel. Well, it had a deep blue, and red, and white plaid, and it was like sleeping in a cloud. Well, we arrived at the camping spot, and it was a huge field, ringed by trees. And growing in this field were huge six-foot weeds that were strawberry blonde. You could take a weed and pop it out of the ground, and it made a dirt clod bomb. You could take it and... Easy. Had good loft. Well, I cleared a place for my tent and the fire pit, and I got my fire going and the shish kebab out. I had all that meat and vegetables skewered on the, the uh, coat hanger, and uh, I was cooking it over the fire. Now, the fire was shifting, and it was getting in my eyes. I had to circle around the campfire. It was burning my eyes. Finally, the flame goes down, and it's ready for that hot bed of coals that I slipped the potato in. And all of a sudden, boom, it was a dirt clot bomb. Someone threw it in my campsite. I said, hey, idiots, I'm over here cooking. Two more dirt clot bombs. That's getting no respect. In my 13-year-old logic, I thought the only way to get some respect from these idiots was shock and awe. So I took one of the dirt clod bombs, I tipped it in the fire. When it got a nice flame, I threw it back. There, assholes, take that. Three flaming dirt clod bombs came roaring back into the campsite. And one of them hit my tent. The tent goes, Phew! It was soaked with oil-based water retardant and just vaporized on me. I walked over there, I jumped on it, up and down, got the flames out, turned around, there was the scoutmaster. He said, under the circumstances, William, you will not be giving the fire safety demonstration tomorrow. I felt like a toad. The scoutmaster was my dad. I was disgraced, so I turned to my supper. And the shish kebab had footprints on it. It was covered with dirt and ash. I said, screw the supper. I'm going right for the Oreos. So I went into my pack and I unwrapped the aluminum foil and it was a potato! What had I thrown in the fire? I got the sticks, I got the... It was burnt Oreos. I was going to go to bed. I went over there and I brushed the ashes off my sleeping bag. There was a, a hole the size of a manhole, you know, in the cover in the uh, sleeping bag. My favorite possession. I got in the sleeping bag and in my boots and I was feeling very sorry for myself. I buried my face in all that flannel. I didn't want anyone to see me. But then eventually I rolled over and cleared my eyes and I was looking up into the black bowl of the sky. There were a billion stars. 
And the Milky Way looked like a luminous cloud stretching across the heavens. And I never would have seen it had I not burned down my tent. 